What's up, Vape Fam? Sortil here, and welcome to the Vaporworks Lab. Vaping on the Purge X25 that we built up in the last live build session. I love this atomizer. It's simple overall in its design. It's simple to build, simple to wick, simple to juice, but it vapes extremely well. And we're actually going to throw it on the device we're going to take a look at today. Now, this was sent to me by a local vape shop that's a fan of the channel and they were curious about my opinion on it. I don't normally review regulated box mods, but that's just because aside from the Gower 21 and a few DNA devices, I'm not really a huge fan of them. I don't buy them very regularly, so I don't tend to review them very regularly, but that's really the only reason. And so what we're gonna be taking a look at today is the Smoke Mag 18. Now, I have seen this around and I've been kind of curious about it because the original mag, I was actually a big fan of. I loved kind of that mag release battery holster. I know some people had a little bit of issue with them making proper contact when you stuck that whole magazine back up in the mod, but I never had any problems whatsoever out of that mod and I really, really liked it. So let's dive on over. We'll take a look at this. We will show you all the ins and outs of it slap the purge x25 on top come back up vape on it and i'll tell you what i think overall about the smoke mag 18 so let's dive on over all right this is the package that your smoke mag 18 comes in it is a dual 18 650 device 230 watt max usb c type charging not going to show you too much more of the package just because you know you know how youtube is these days all right, here is the device, it says MAG18 right there on the side. I really like the look of this overall. I think it is a very nice looking mod. Now, this is not a pleather. It's more a rubber type material, which I really like that because, you know, pleather kind of gets worn out and dirty extremely quickly on mods. So glad to see at least smoke is kind of moving away from them, at least with this device. Then you've got kind of your metal that outlines that whole rubberized grip there. This is very reminiscent of the Aegis Legend 2 or the L200. I think it looks very similar to that, just kind of morphed with the original mag a little bit. This is definitely made to be fired with your index finger for sure. It just feels a lot better like this in the hand. All right, so got your screen up here on front, USB-C charging up and down. This is a very simple device as far as the chip goes. It is a wattage only device, but really for me, that is how I want most regulated devices to be. I don't really use temp control, and if I'm going to do something like that, it's probably going to be more of a high-end box mod that I go with to do something like temp control. On the bottom here, you've got your battery door usual warnings just pull that to the side and it pops up now this kind of joint right here it's spring loaded pretty hefty and pretty durable it doesn't shake around very easy but you know it's still one of these kind of bottom flap battery doors and they normally just break after a while so you definitely want to be very very careful with this Got positive and negative down at the bottom and also up at the top to let you know which way your battery should go. Let's go ahead and throw a couple in here. These are Molasel P28A 18650s in here. Let's kind of shut it down like that. You really have to kind of press pretty hard to get that to close and latch all the way. Doesn't seem to want to just pop open on us. So that's good. All right, let's go ahead, power our device on. Mag 18 is your version. So I really like this screen. You've got your battery percentages, got your watts, ohms, volts, puffs, and time that the device is fired. You can change the screen color by hitting the up and the fire button at the same time. It will scream at you about no atomizer. I think we'll keep it right about there on that silver that kind of comes through the best with the camera at least. So you got up and down. 
press both of them together, it will lock your wattage. So you can't, you know, change your wattage, but you can still fire the device. You can lock the whole device by clicking the fire button three times. All right. So on the top here, it will accept upwards of a 30 millimeter atomizer and look good. This top kind of platform here is actually 28 millimeters, slightly over 28 millimeters, but it does flare out all the way to 30 there on the sides. So 30 millimeter atomizers actually look pretty damn good on this device overall. Let's go ahead and stick our Purge X25 on here. See how it looks. So looks pretty good with a 25 millimeter atomizer. Actually like the look of this with an atomizer on it. It looks very good. I love the feel of this. Like I said, it's a very Legend 2 or L200 feeling the way it looks. It's very L200 except, you know, just the kind of grip overall and it does still retain that mag look to it. I do wish they still had the magazine pop out because I like that better than this battery door. I normally am not a fan of this style of battery door at all, and I will avoid regulated mods that use this kind of door. I like C-frame better, and this seemed like it could have been just tailor-made for a C-frame, but it's not the way they went. Ohms on this is 0.09, which I do like. A lot of devices just will not fire below 0.1. This seems like it will. The wattage goes all the way up to 230 watts. And it does round robin back to 5 watts. So I do like that. Let's go ahead and crank this up to about 100 and... Let's just do 125 and see how this does. But so far, I'm pretty impressed. Like I said, it's just wattage only, so it's extremely simple in its design. There's really no kind of menu system for you to change anything else because it's just a wattage only. All right, let's jump back up top, guys. All right, let's see how this thing vapes overall. Pretty well, what kind of volt am I getting off this? 3.4 with this at 125 watts and our resistance at 0.09. I don't know how far down in resistance this thing will fire. I'm kind of guessing it's not gonna go much below that. vaping great the device is not really getting hot the atomizer of course is with coils that low but it's vaping just like a dream now thumb fire if you're thumb firing this it almost feels like the base of your thumb is going to hit your wattage up and down button so i wouldn't be surprised if you accidentally turn your wattage down or turn your wattage up from just thumb firing it so i definitely think Holding it like this and firing it with your index finger is a better choice for this, and it just feels more comfortable that way. This thing actually vapes really well. Like I said, I do like that it's just a wattage only device. If I'm going to buy a regulated box mod from a company like Smoke or Geek Vape, uh, I would rather it just be straight wattage. Just don't try and make it over complicated. Don't try to put temp control in there or anything like that. Uh, if I want temp control, things like that, I'm going to go with the DNA. I'm not going to buy a smoke or geek vape product looking for an advanced chipset. So just make it straight wattage. And I personally, at least, will be far more happy. So I do like that about this device. I like the simplified approach to the chip. The atomizer looks good on top of it. 
All right, so pros and cons. What do I think overall about this device? As far as cons go, I don't really have too many. That battery door would definitely be one. I do not like these hinged battery doors. The hinge is always a weak point. And if you have the battery door open and you accidentally drop it, more than likely that hinge is going to break or weaken on you and then eventually break. I would have much rather have seen that kind of magazine style that they had on the original mag or a c-frame door and this seems like it's just tailor-made for a fucking c-frame door smoke they could have kind of improved that magazine overall make sure that you know the contact for it when you did shove it back up in there was good and tight nobody had any kind of contact issues um pros I love the look. I love the feel of it, especially holding it and index finger firing it. That fire button is just huge. It's clicky. It feels comfortable with my finger just laying over top of it. I love kind of that flared out back section. I know that's kind of to make it look more gun handle-ish, but it also fits in kind of the webbing of your thumb and index finger extremely well. It vapes great. I love that it's 230 watts. It round robins. Uh, it will kind of jump up in the wattage as you're holding that up and down button extremely quick. So I do like that. I like how it shows percentages for your batteries, not just kind of the bars for them. Now, this is one I did not show you. If you want to clear your puff counter, you click the fire button and the down, and you can clear your puffs. So yeah, overall, I'm very impressed with the Smoke Mag 18. I did not think that I would be, but as far as smoke goes, I've always really hated their sub-ohm tanks. Their sub-ohm tanks, for the most part, and their coils, for the most part, are kind of junk. Uh, they've gotten better throughout the years, but I would still say that Smoke's coils are the worst out there, for the most part. Uh, as far as a major company's coils, theirs are probably the worst. I burned through them like nobody's business, but their mods have always been pretty top notch. I really have never had a smoke mod that I just absolutely hated, or I've never used a smoke mod that I just absolutely hated. And this one being a wattage only, having that nice comfortable feel, big clicky fire button, fits well in my hand, has the rubber instead of pleather, is just all, all pluses in my book. That battery door is my biggest con to this device don't really have any other cons to this i like it'll fit 28 even 30 millimeter atomizers it vapes extremely well it's simple to use it does have usb-c charging if you're kind of caught in a pinch but i always recommend remove the batteries and charge them externally if you have that option yeah it's vaping like a dream so if you're in the market for a new regulated box mod and you're like me and you would much rather just use wattage or that's what you use all the time and you want one that's really comfortable in your hand, then definitely check out the Smoke Mag 18. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. I'm actually shocked at how much I really like this device. All right, guys, vape on and I will catch you all in the next one.